Very good evening, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. First of all, let's just check uh, the signals results for the last uh, month. Uh, Angela has posted the results on the free group on Telegram, which you can join from the link uh, found in the description. And finally, uh, we can see the results here are really good for the whole last week. There was only five losses and several trades are still running, but they are in profit so far. That is quite good. And you can see uh, Angela has also posted the total results for the whole month. You can go and check them if you want uh, on the free channel. Uh, please again, check the link in the description. You can find the contact uh, details for Angela. So you can contact her to join the signals uh, premium group to also be included in these signals. So let's talk now about uh, the weekly market analysis for this coming week. So <clears throat> uh, we have something really interesting happened. Yeah, there it is. I just wanted to bring it to you. Uh, US and China agree to another truce on trade war in hope for a lasting deal. This will be actually a game changer because this will actually affect the whole market, especially the US, uh, the US uh, and the Japanese market, or sorry, Asian market on forex and we need to now do our analysis uh, really well and we have to be very careful how to select our trades so now what is the expected from this in news uh, personally i'm expecting the gold will actually drop a little bit and the usd will rise a little bit before it actually start changing the directions so let's now go to the pairs one by one first of all the euro usd Euro USD, as I predicted for the last week, it went more up because on the weekly chart, as I mentioned exactly on the last video, we can see the week, uh, sorry, on the weekly chart, US, Euro USD has raised up and hit this resistance level. And now it just closed as a doji for the whole week. And for the next week, I'm expecting it to actually go a little bit more up, but not immediately. Now we can see it reversing on this resistance. We have this resistance on the daily chart and the Euro USD is bouncing on this resistance. But due to the news of China and US, I don't think it will keep going now. Uh, sorry, I don't think it will keep going down. We can expect a bullish momentum for the Euro USD to go more up, but not immediately. We have to wait for the pair to come a little bit more down for the correction. And what I believe is going to happen, the pair will actually go a little bit more down like that. So I'm expecting for the Euro USD will continue the reversal from this resistance level and it will go a little bit more down to hit the support level on 1.13252 and we can see here it was also a strong support level on the past and we can see it was also a very strong resist, uh, resistance also. Then we had this bullish uh, momentum or sorry bullish breakout and the pair is now reversing on the resistance. Therefore, I'm expecting the pair will go a little bit more down, retesting the support level before it actually starts shooting more up. And it will not go up little, uh, not it will not go up for quite a long time. What I'm expecting it, actually, it will go up, but to hit this resistance level also. Here we have a resistance level with these attempts on it. So again, the Euro USD will make a small correction to hit the support level for the retest. And I'm expecting it to continue more up, not this level here, only up to this level of the resistance. This might take uh, some time, but that is what I believe is going to happen for the Euro USD. <coughs> Sorry. Sam, maybe my voice is not clear because I'm actually a little bit sick. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, for the pound USD, pound USD on the daily chart is showing similar things. We can expect now the pair is actually reversing on this resistance level and going to the four hour chart we can see that the pound usd is right now on this resistance level and the price action for the closing uh, day of uh, last thursday uh, showed a really strong bearish uh, price action and the friday candle is closed almost as a little doji and therefore i don't think the pair will uh, continue to go more up now i think it will reverse a little bit before it starts shooting more up. So for the pound USD, 
I think let me just mark it a little bit just be more accurate yeah for the pound USD on the four hour chart I'm expecting that the pair will go a little bit more down for the retest on 1.26831 before it actually go a little bit more up to hit this resistance level uh, hit this resistance level once it reach this resistance I believe it will not continue on this position and should actually start reversing to go more down so in general the pound USD should be actually fine for the buy and allow me to adjust uh, my entry point I will make it 1.26743 so again pound USD will go down to this level to retest the support level before it actually continue to go more up hitting this resistance and then it should go more down let's go to the AUD USD now for the AUD USD it's really interesting because because we can see the pair is now on the absolute level of the resistance now this is on the four hour chart go to the daily chart we can see it really uh, making a really strong bullish momentum and what I'm expecting from the AUD USD it will continue also to go a little bit more up before it actually start reversing on this resistance I don't think it can hold for a long time on this resistance that is uh, really hard and if we want to be accurate I believe the pair should reverse starting from the level 0 0.70493 uh, the bullish momentum will continue but let's uh, be uh, more accurate go to the four hour chart uh, this this candle is really strong it doesn't show any symptoms for any uh, retest um, I'm expecting for the market when it opens on Monday that the market the, the candle will start with a, actually a bullish uh, a momentum the, so I really I'm really expecting that this pair should reverse on this resistance level like that so we can start actually let, let me tell you something don't do anything for the AUD USD until it hit this resistance level once the AUD USD hit this resistance we can start shorting the, US, the AUD USD on 0 0.70481 but before that don't do anything for the AUD USD it will be really tricky the problem here we have is the closing uh, shape of this candle on the 4 hour chart and I think even on the daily chart yes even on the daily chart uh, this showing a really strong bullish uh, momentum so the retest here might not happen actually because we can see uh, this continuation of the AUD USD bullish uh, momentum so yeah I don't think uh, AUD USD will be good for anything except for the sell once it reach uh, it reach uh, this resistance level and there and from that level we can start selling it uh, and let me tell you if we are going to sell the AUD USD on this level where can we take our profit we can close the trade right on the current level actually right where it is right now on this previous resistance because what is expected to happen for the pair will continue to go more up and then it will reverse on this resist uh, resistance and then it's gonna retest this broken resistance again so this is our good shot this retest this this retest level this is what I'm looking for so with that we can aim about yeah 27 pips that's fine but because I don't think that a pair will go uh, more than that or actually it's really hard to predict what will happen for the AUD USD uh, after hitting the support level right here so after the retest of the support it's really hard to predict on the AUD USD so just to be safe aim for the sell once it hit this support level uh, resistance level let's go now to the USD CAD USD CAD however it's right now ranging on the support and the, the candle on daily chart closed as a pin bar so USD CAD is easily predicted for the buy and we can start buying the USD CAD actually immediately because uh, the, the closing time of the uh, sorry the candle on daily chart has closed as a pin bar so again if we buy the USD CAD 
we can keep the position until the market hit this res uh, previous resistance right here and that should give us approximately 136 pips of profit uh, let me check for the four hour chart just to be more accurate yeah we can see that the candles or the market actually tried to close below this level we can see the candles has only reached below this resistance but couldn't at all any single candle not even one of them closed below this uh, support level that's why i'm really thinking that this uh, market will continue to go more up let me tell you the exact move how it will gonna happen uh, we can expect for the pair to continue to go more up until hitting this resistance and then it will fall more down hitting on this previous support before it actually start to go more up uh, hitting at least on this uh, previous resistance level so again usd cad should be good for buy let's go to the usd gpy usd gpy however also should be good for buy and i believe uh, this is daily chart in general the usd gpy should continue to go more up until hitting on this resistance but after that i really don't advise you to stay in this uh, trade anymore again i'm telling you uh, the news of us and china will actually be a game changer especially for the usd gpy so just to be safe i believe it will be safe actually actually to start buying the usd gpy and keep the position until it hit this resistance level on 108.607 uh, one more thing let's go to the four hour chart to know if our entry should be fine i believe it should be fine and let me tell you the reason because right now we are on this support level look at the left we can see this is strong support level has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and again the market broke this level with this bullish candle and right now the pair or the price has actually went right above this support level so most likely the pair is really good for buy immediately once the market open i don't think it will go down below this support level and we can start buying uh, the usd gpy aiming approximately between 70 to 80 pips of profit go to the uh, usd chf usd chf is also similar to the previous uh, uh, expectations for the dollar we can see the pair has actually hit a very strong support level and right now it's ranging on the same level it's bouncing on it i'm expecting for the usd chf to continue ranging here for some time before it actually start to go more up until it hit this previous resistance i don't like to keep the trade going uh, farther than that with almost 124 pips of profit however uh, if you want to be safe it's really better if we wait for the pair to make another attempt on this support level right now or let me tell you something now i'm in the four hour chart and if you want to analyze the four hour chart we can see here we have a support level which has been a resistance and uh, it actually the price was ranging uh, sorry i take back i take back my words this was not a resistance or a support the market is just ranging here and we can see what happened on the same level this is the support and on the same level we can see here this bullish breakout candle this is indicating that the market is actually uh, reversing on this support level the candle this candle on, on four hour chart has closed above this previous support level therefore we can see the last candle actually tried to also close on this level but it closed above meaning there was a rejection this long wick here indicates a rejection on this previous support and we can see it right here and i think also here right on this uh, level so this support uh, is strong and we need to wait for the market how it will behave uh, for this uh, level uh, most likely from telling on this support uh, this price action i'm expecting that the market will actually open a little bit low on this low level reaching this previous support and then we can start buying the usd chef right on this level on 0 0.9764 I think it will be a safe uh, to buy 
the USD CHF once it reached this level and keep the position until it hit this previous uh, resistance right here. So that could be approximately uh, 100 pips of profit for the USD CHF. Now I saw in the comments uh, some of the followers asking for the gold to be analyzed. Uh, to be honest, I don't like to to, to uh, make any analysis for the gold. It's really sensitive for the news, but for the sake of uh, trying to help everyone, I will try my best to analyze the gold. Uh, since we can see that the USD is actually rising, I believe this news will affect the gold. The gold is actually going to fall down a little bit for this correction on this level. So what, let, me, let me tell you what I'm expecting. Uh, right now, we can see a double top appeared on the gold, on the 4-hour chart, and on daily chart, we can see the rejection on this resistance. We can see this long wick here, and also this price action indicating that the market should actually, should actually start to fall more down, but not for quite a long time. Remember, there is, the gold has broken out from a very long-term resistance. Again, let's check the weekly chart. We can see how the gold... Let me go to the monthly chart. So, this is easier now to see. This is the gold chart, and we can see how it has reached this very long-term resistance. This resistance has been there since 2000, between 2012 and 13. Um, we are talking about more than six years of uh, resistance uh, pressure. And the candle has finally reached this level. I don't think it will break out from this level immediately. It should at least make a small reversal before it actually continue to go more up. So this little bit uh, reversal is with what we are actually right now aiming. So just to be safe, I want everyone to be safe uh, because uh, trading gold is actually dangerous. And I know some people who have wiped their account uh, trading gold. Let me tell you, the gold right now is ranging on this resistance level. We can see these three wicks here and they have been breaking out by this, by this breakout candle, bearish, break, bearish breakout candle. And we can see the market on the last day uh, on the last four hours of Friday, tried to actually hit this resistance and it failed and it should actually start falling more down. So it will be safe to sell the gold immediately, uh, but not for quite a long time, only until hitting the support level. And that is not simple trade. We are talking about almost 90 pips of profit from selling the gold and don't keep it more than that i really don't advise that but uh, what i'm seeing now from this price action that the gold should be really good for sell on the exact same level of this previous resistance and please uh, close your trade if you sell, if you sell the gold on 1401 and uh, get out of the trade as soon as possible so guys uh, i believe that is uh, everything for the weekly analysis and I really hope this coming week will be a very profitable week for everyone. And I hope you guys uh, will have a good week. I think we have really good week ahead. Uh, the market will be very active, especially after uh, the news about the uh, US and China. So again, uh, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.